John Gorman is a New York native tenants attorney who has been protecting tenants' rights for over 30 years. When I arrived in 1980 in the South Bronx, it was called Little House on the Prairie because urban renewal had demolished so many of the buildings, dilapidated buildings in the district that you could see just planes of rubble and bricks uh, on top of other bricks, but no housing. According to Gorman, it took some time before the little house on the prairie saw new development. But once developers moved in and got to work, the brand new buildings, with their much higher price tags, attracted much wealthier residents. This put a strain on property owners who saw unregulated neighboring buildings earning often more than triple the revenue of their own rent-regulated buildings. As a result, landlords often resort to questionable tactics to remove rent-regulated tenants from apartments. So harassment then uh, would take the form of really aggressive behavior by owners. Um, I did have a case when I was the Legal Aid Society where uh, the owner uh, who encountered a tenant who refused to pay her rent because of conditions would merely take the door off the apartment. And that's how, that's how these problems were solved often back then. Uh, and uh, there were occasions when owners would change locks, which is obviously by definition a crime, uh, surely way above mere harassment. 